no. Ajo Shanda on the no go ta minji to go uh cut to minji go on the ha uh monone uh hot on the no to lunch ha. Uh Shanda Yinka ye uh Mono uh Jo Shanda Mano Lutolin do and T ye no no go or ji or now ji hat ku jaku ku select ku a kong monjo uh กูว่าฝึกเป้ตัวลูกตัวเจนอ๋อเจนนายเจ้าจีชุดเลยต้องมาโน้มมาอย่างกูตัวตู้วันเจียงยังมันแล้วอ๋อไอ้ตัวเ
ตอนนั้นจะมาจะเจอเจอเอ่อกตินิจันทร์สุดเลยอ่าช่างงานกูตุลันโดยจุมอนยัดจ่าอ่าโมชอตัวโมจุยตัวเอ่อกูฮาต
啊，就是鸟的好古的水咯，有那沙巴、陈阿古，那多考学堂、多学校堂、多班堂的、多班上的，那些要多，就到了末年阶段，要么做了就为了家古啥个那班多陈阿古，有那么啊，路路华子那好多的古周一哦，只周一送一下送，那有那么多古好 website w w d f u l l y d o r g 就那那我知道古。Yeah, my name is uh, State Representative Jamie Becker Finn, and I uh, am the DFL endorsed candidate in District 42B, which is Little Canada, Vadnais Heights, uh, Gem Lake, Roseville, and Shoreview. And uh, I'm here tonight because um, I'm so looking forward to working with Jay Zhang in the State House. And uh, I, I'm also up for re election this fall, and uh, just really excited to be here and support Jay. He supports all of us. I'm excited to get to work with him. Um, you know, support our public schools, support our immigrant and refugee communities, and uh, just do all that we can for everybody in our districts. Yeah, um, so just a little bit about me. Um, in addition to being a state representative, I'm also an attorney. Uh, I work at the Domestic Abuse Service Center in Minneapolis. Uh, I live in Roseville. My kids attend Roseville Public Schools, and uh, I have a uh, well, he just finished first grade today, and then I also have a three and a half year old who will be in pre-K in the fall. Yeah, so if, if you live in Minnesota or you live in District 42B, um, our election in Minnesota will be November 6th. Uh, so register to vote now so you are ready to go uh, and in November. Uh, we do not have a primary in my race, so uh, we're just heading towards November. Uh, you can also go, if you want to learn more, you can go to my website at www.beckerfin.com org, which is B-E-C-K-E-R-F-I-N-N.org, and you can donate money or sign up to volunteer there, or just learn more about me and my campaign. Jay Xiong, I'm from the State House, for State House Representative uh, 67B, Nyasha Isai, St. Paul. Uh, so, no, this week, no, uh, go, uh, how do you make more, uh, she do, uh, more care to, uh, state house for state house, uh, district, shah, district, don't you be, uh, yonder, shah, um, book and center, book a park area, yeah, go, you do, and tell you, uh, or, uh, do care campaign, don't they, yeah, eh, uh, so, yeah, you know, yeah. For state house. Um, so, Samantha.org. ยังนี่สปาร์ตซังกันเนี่ยสาเปิดโซเชียลนี่ยอปากุคอกกระต้งเราหูสะต้งเต้นนี่เด้อเจนี่มาเลยอ่าอ่าคอนแทคคุณด
campaign co-chair for Jay Shaw, who will be running for state representative district 67B East Side St. Paul. I would like to welcome all of you and thank you for taking time to join us tonight as we kick up this fundraising event for Jay. I have known and worked with Jay Sean as a part of a team for the FL almost 10 years. I can see that the passion of the serving East Side St. Paul for better. He has a vision to improve the East Side and his diversity, education, and along with many other areas. That is why I am proud to stand by him and volunteer my time as his campaign co-chair. I would like to encourage and ask for all of you, please spread the word out to have the entire Hmong community residing the East Side Temple or within District 67B to go out and vote on November 6th for the final election for Jay to win the seat for District 67B as state representative. I would like to speak a couple of words in a Hmong language. He is a kind of North America. He is a kind of the world. 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 Kia trong nọ trong chú Trong xảy ra Nhớ trò Đi suy trò cho xa bì Nhớ trò xa phạm kì Là do State Representative Cô chế xì xìa Là công tế bà tôn chế cho nó Cô bỏ hệ tìa tôn chế Nếu mà bằng sự Thế nếu mà dần mua สาลอปาสีคอชาอีสัยก็มัวเก๋กันโตกันโตจงเทียกับลอปาโตจะให้นึ่งเจอว่าเสด็จยอดของเชกของจอก็เสด็จมัวเก๋เฮาซึ่ง
ก็ชมว่าเยี่ยงซื่อเขาควรจะเฉลยชม Our next speaker is going to be uh, uh, the state representative from uh, the uglier sister city. Um, he is uh, he is not qualified to wear a bow tie, but he does wear a bow tie. And his name is Fu Li, and I'd like to uh, invite Fu Li to come up to the stage. Good evening. Thank you all so very much for being here to uh, support my older brother Jay. Uh, even though Jay is older than me, when uh, he joined us in the house, he will be a junior to me. So, Jay, get ready for Jay, that, Jay. And, you know, uh, to Uncle Charles' point about Jay uh, avoiding our primary, I think that Jay is 99% locked in unless he gets uh, arrested or anything like that. That's what my minority leader said to me when I won my primary. So, Jay, just stay out of trouble and then you'll be in, Jay. Uh, just want to say thank you all for being here, and I see some of our uh, Candidates and one of my colleagues running for the house too, and you know it's really important for you to support Jay so that Jay could get out there and support uh, other candidates running for the Minnesota House because we need to flip the house so that we can do our work to support you know our senators over there at the state capitol too. And uh, going forward, I look, uh, I want to see you guys get out there and not only help support Jay, but uh, you know, when Jay gets out there to support our other candidates, get out there and door knock with him and phone big for, with him too. So thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you, Representative. Um, at this time, I would really love to have Senator Van Her come and address the group. Woohoo! Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to recognize our con Congresswoman Betty McCollum for joining us today. <laughs> what an honor. And also, uh, you know, I'll represent J Jimmy Becker Finn right over here to represent both y'all. And our upcoming com commissioner, uh, Trista, can you stand up, Trista? So, <laughs> any other elected official or soon to be elected official that are in the house here? I know uh, my, uh, Samantha, Samantha is running too, right? Way back there, Samantha running for 40 feet. Yeah. So I'm glad to see all of you here today. I'm going to tell, oh, and I'll represent uh, Sheldon Johnson. All right, what a miracle. All right, thank you. And thank you, Representative Sheldon Johnson, for, for coming and your, your support of Jay. You know, I know that uh, to carry on your legacy will be someone up to par with you, and I think Jay is the right person uh, to continue your legacy and be, be friend with me at the Senate. I know Jay when he was a young man still in high school, uh, back in 94, and I think we met each other at Cassetta um, restaurant, and, and then, uh, then he disappeared from the radar for a while, you know. I, I would say that mainly because he's, he's busy developing, developing his life, you know, and getting education. So after he graduated from college with a degree in political science, we met again at uh, some uh, volunteer function, getting out to vote. So that's, uh, Jay was a coordinator. Jay and Yi Chang called me up to, and Uncle Chow and Ivy go and volunteer and, get, and call people up to get them out to vote. So that's, since then I've got to know Jay very well. Jay is a person that likes to empower people. You know, as you can see, he empowered his friend. He helped, you know, even like when I ran in 2013, he empowered his friend Chai Lee to run for office. He empowered Long Yang to win city council. And, in Minneapolis, and he powered Fu Li to uh, win the uh, representative seat, and so he's still going to continue doing that, you know. But there will be time when you know someone who has uh, who has uh, a long long range goal like Jay and give it all to the community. It's time to run for office yourself, and I'm glad that you you picked this right time to serve. So, Jay, I'm 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 looking forward. I'm looking forward, and I know that you know you guarantee to seek the seat. Um, come in 67 B, but I also ask you to work very hard and, you know, all the Jay Walker out there to work very hard to turn out the vote in our district here. Uh, being that our district are our low income district and also district with uh, low, low voter turnout too. And so it matters more that we have to turn out voters here so that we can equate with other district. You know, we're always behind by maybe five or to 1,000 vote compared to uh, 60, Five, sixty-four. You know, as you go down the, the, the list, you know, I 
And, and on, on that subject, I, I always wonder why, why our number is 67, the last number of district in the whole entire state. Number one is up north. It should start from here, spiral out, but it's spiral in, you know. But this is the heart of Minnesota, right here on the east side of St. Paul, where the sun come, come out first. And also, St. Paul itself is mentioned in the Bible, too, not Minneapolis. <laughs> so we have to... We have to work hard to turn out the vote, and I know that the Hmong community is gonna turn out and vote, for sure. But we have to turn out and get, to get in touch with young Hmong voters. That's the population that we're missing. We gotta get folks that just recently graduated from Harding, and recently graduated from Johnson High School, and also get the Latino vote. There's, we have large consi con Latino constituents here in the district, and also uh, East African voters too. And, and I'm saying, saying this not to put the responsibility on you, but I'm gonna be the last person to usher everybody out to vote. And not just vote for Jay, but vote for our Congresswoman Betty McCollum, and also vote for Tim Mahoney, you know, and trying to turn out the vote so it could, and, and for governor as well, you know, so. <laughs> so this is all I have to say out there, and uh, go Jay, go, and I'll, I'll leave the chanting to the Jay Walker out there later on when they come up here to speak. So thank you all for being here and Ochan Dona, Ochan Dola, Guha Butana, Jatano, Yato Hachano, the Guha Lu Mong Gaulus, and Guha Long Halan, Gide Halu Monja, Messrs. Sanitia Hadashi, Tau Gun, and Beta Tato Vojo, Joe Jay. And before I, before I leave the podium here, you know, I know that you guys still want to burn out a little time. I want to take the time to acknowledge Kauli Her running for House 60, 60, uh, is it 60, 66, right? 64A, 64A, 64 soon to be. So this is a great year. Uh, this next year will be, this is a great year, but next year will be a history, history in the making again for the Hmong American community. You know, um, I'm expect Jay Shong and Tu Shong to serve me and also call Lee Her. So this will be the first time that we're gonna have five Hmong American descent who represent uh, people in Minnesota here. So we're gonna make history one more time as a Hmong American in this country. So thank you. Uh, the two I am going to be calling up are uh, State Representative Jamie Becker Finn, who represents uh, 42B, uh, uh, Van Nuys Heights and Shoreview. Uh, and the other person that is running for office, uh, that is running for office is uh, Trista Matica Steele, running for Ramsey County Board. Good evening. Uh, so I'm Jamie Becker Finn. I uh, represent parts of Roseville, Shoreview, Little Canada, Venice Heights, and Gem Lake. And just really excited to be here, really excited that Jay is running and that um, he invited me to be a co-host tonight. And, um, you know, we, we have a lot of Hmong folks in our communities up in the, the suburbs as well. And so it's, it's really important to me to, to have those connections and hear from folks. It's been really an honor to serve on the, the Posse Caucus, the People of Color and Indigenous Caucus with Representative Fu Lee. Uh, you know, gotten to know him and Senator Her really well. And it's, it's, uh, it's been a really great opportunity to really broaden our reach. And, uh, you know, we're able to do more together than we would as individuals. And so I, I really love that team concept with all these all these guys. So thank you very much for inviting me tonight and uh, I'll pass it off to Trista. Awesome, thank you. Hi, I am uh, Trista Mattis Castillo and I'm running for Ramsey County Commissioner and I'm here tonight representing both myself but Commissioner Jim McDonough who is out of town tonight but wants to, wanted to be here and is supporting Jay as well. And I'm running to serve on the county board with Commissioner McDonough. My district is uh, parts of the east side and then facing to the west. So from Edgerton on the east all the way to Snelling Avenue north of University and the city of Falcon Heights. So a large community. We're a very diverse community. We're the only district in Minnesota that is 30% Asian, 30% black, and 30% white with 10% Latinos. So we are a very diverse district. We need to turn out the vote. We are running to a primary and it really is an effort to return the investment to our community and reinvest and to work with Jay and other legislators to say, look, this is what our community looks like and we need to make sure that we are investing in our communities and making sure that we all have a future and Ramsey County works for all of us. So thank you for being here. Go Jay. <laughs> And you can start voting as of June 29th, so put that on your calendars for early. 
We'll love to have um, a candidate that is running for 37B, Blaine, uh, the Blaine area, Amir Malik. Thank you so much for coming out to support Jay. You know, one thing that was on my mind is I was reading on Jay's Facebook page where he had, uh, his father was talking about coming here and I thought about my family because my father came about the same time, 1970. He came from Pakistan and then I was born here. And you see how much there is to the future if we want it. I mean, if you look at Jay, one thing I like about Jay is he works hard. Right now, if Jay sleeps until November, he would still win. But you see him working hard. You know, if you keep up to all the events he's doing, he kept that work ethic that I'm sure he learned from his parents. And I think it's really important that we celebrate and honor that. The fact that someone is working hard, much harder than they have to work. And I wanted to be here to support him. I, I'm in Blaine, so I'm a neighbor of, uh, of Jamie. And it's great to see the Hmong community contributing to civil discourse. And thank you so much for coming. You keep laughing. So it's like this. Jay! 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 wonderful to get off of a plane and come home. Come home to you. Because in Washington, D.C. right now, there's too much anger, there is too much discord, and there's not enough love, hope, and opportunity. And that's what brings us here together. But before I talk about the, the person we're all going to be out working very, very hard for, I just want to take a moment to thank Sheldon Johnson. <laughs> Sheldon, Sheldon um, I remember when you were first running and we were out door knocking and, and Sheldon was always out there with, with Tim Mahoney and I and, and had good precincts and good places to go and always made sure he, he touched base. And then on, on the environmental issues we worked together you, you will not be forgotten, you will not be missed, because I'm going to put you to work, so. Um, and then I, I, I noticed uh, one, of my, one of my other, I used to serve in the Minnesota House, cause, so if you're in the Minnesota House, you're my brother and my sister. If you're in the Senate, like Senator Fong Hur, you're my cousin. So, so uh, Mr. Pinto's here um, from, from the other part of St. Paul. And of course, of course, the senator's here, and we've got a new candidate I was campaigning with. And I bring this up this new because we, we're constantly bringing new ideas, new energy, new life. And it, with, 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 with Jamie, uh, it was great being out uh, door knocking with you and your young children. Because we do this job not only for ourselves and for our elders, we do it for the next generation to prepare a path where they have hope and they have opportunity as we've been given. So why am I here tonight? I'm here tonight because I need your help. I need your help in electing Jay. And I need your help in encouraging more people to get out and vote in this election. I could give you numbers, but numbers are boring. Let me give you a picture. Picture a pie. And our, uh, this, this Senate district, we'll do the Senate district, is a pie. And in this Senate district, maybe only a quarter of the people come out and vote in a presidential election. So take that quarter and divide it even smaller. That's how many people come out and vote in a mid-year election. We need Jay out there running and campaigning as he is 
because come November, I don't want to have another election like like we had last last uh, last time when we woke up to President Trump because I've been hearing the cruel things that our former governor Pawlenty has been saying about our immigrant community and it's not going to happen under our watch we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen <laughs> the other reason why I'm very excited to be here today is I think we're kind, of, we're kind of special in the 4th Congressional District. We run as a team. We run as a team with our mayors and our city councils and our school boards from the suburban areas to the core city. We run as a team with our House members and our Senate members and our county commissioners. And I meet with them on a regular basis and I get letters and phone calls from them because we all together work for you. And when I had an opportunity to meet and talk with Jay, I knew he shared that philosophy because we're stronger, right? If you look at your fingers and, I, and the, the, a very famous person came up with this analogy, it was not me, uh, Washington, Washington T. Booker. If you look at your hands separate, you've got the five fingers, right? And they can do a lot of things and they can be very powerful. But if you go like this, then you really have power when it's all together, when you're all working, the fingers and the hand and everything together. So I can, I can only thank you that, um, that the DFL made an endorsement and endorsed a candidate has so much vision for children, for education, so much passion for health care, for our elders and for all of us, and for someone who wants to make sure that we have good roads and good bridges and good things in the future for our businesses and our families to have. So I really look forward to being out campaigning, uh, all of us as a team, and are we going to increase the vote total this time? Yes. yes, we are. So, Jay, I get the pleasure of introducing you. So come on up. So Jay, I, 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 I'm going to make you a promise. And I don't make promises I can't keep. I'll promise I will door knock with you. I promise I will do everything um, I can to help us get out the vote together working in. I'm very glad your senator's not taking the year off. He's going to be out working this year too. So, I, you have my pledge to do whatever I can. Not only, because you and I will, will win if we work, right? But you and I have a special challenge, and that's to get the vote out. And I know you're committed to doing that. I want to introduce to you and I'm, I'm, I love saying this because I'm not a senator. I'd like to introduce to you the next representative, a much better title. Thank you, Congressman Thank you so much for being here. I know that you have a very busy schedule, Congresswoman. And I also understand that she literally just flew in from D.C. just to be here. So it means so much. Uh, to me and our team uh, to have your presence here today. Um, and uh, good evening, uh, family and friends. I also want to acknowledge um, some uh, of our family members um, and dignitaries here today. Uh, Senator Fong Her, thank you so much for being here. Um, Representative Sean Johnson, our outgoing state representative, thank you so much for being here. Trista Martha Castillo, running for Ransom County uh, Commissioner. So, make your other shang, East Sai Ha, Tachan, the Nikong, Front Town, Nikong, Rice Street Shandra, Thomas Hotel, Yun Jong Lu, Yi Hindu, and Tika Blog, Mongo Tuning to Campaign Manager, Ya Hua Jong, so Hua Jong, can you raise your hand so people know who to. Okay, so go to her and ask her about where you go in her district. And then also I want to give a shout out to Representative uh, Jamie Becker Fenn, who is up for re-election in Guidance Heights, Purview, and uh, Little Canada. Uh, so I know that woman, the Mong Nyo I mean, for those of you who are watching at home, make sure you guys go out. She has a, a Republican running against her. I'm not gonna mention his name, but I don't know who it is. Uh, I need, I need uh, to be in the house with Representative Jimmy Becker Fenn because we share the same value. And then my brother, uh, Amir Malik, uh, who's also running for state representative uh, in Blaine. 
Good to see you here. Uh, for folks watching at home, make sure you go out and vote. You, you don't have a primary, right? Okay, vote for him this fall because uh, his opponent, his, his the incumbent is a Republican, and um, is he that shit crazy? I don't know. Is he? <laughs> okay. I don't need someone crazy. And so go and vote for these guys because they will be working uh, with me. They will be helping me to make sure that we fight for our city, our state, and uh, more importantly for our values. Um, and so, oh, and also Sheriff uh, Jack Sir, please give a hand to him. Our DFR was candid. And uh, Sheriff, you have a primary too, right, Sheriff? No, just just fall. Oh, just this fall? Okay. So make sure you guys go also go out and vote for our sheriff, who has been a great uh, advocate for our community here in East Side St. Paul. Um, we appreciate uh, what you have done. And he, uh, most of you know, uh, Matt Bostrom uh, had left, and then Sheriff um, Serio came in and uh, did a great job. Uh, oh, and also Council Member Jane Prince is in the house. I didn't forget you, Council Member Tyler. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Uh, and it, 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 ตัวนี้ก็ต้องมาดูว่าหมอเอ่อมองมาเฮ้ยไรท์แท้ๆเกิดหนุกหัวจอเอ่อพักกันเป็นดีโมแครตไซด์เอ่อนิวลูดพล
you're in the wrong place. My name is Jay Jean. And I am the DFO endorsed candidate for House of Representatives in the East Side of St. Paul. I'm a lifelong St. Paulite, born and raised here, and uh, there's nothing I'm more proud of uh, than to call the beautiful Rome Hills and trails of Battle Creek my home. Um, most of you know my family came to this country about 40 years ago as refugees from a war-torn country. Uh, it was thanks to the kindness and welcoming spirit of good Midwestern hospitality that our family decided to settle here in Minnesota, in particular in St. Paul. Um, together as a, as a community, we have seen the best of times and the worst of times, but I firmly believe that our better days are up ahead. With your support, I'm confident that I can be the equity champion our neighborhoods need to push for stronger public safety measures, greater education outcomes, improved infrastructure maintenance, and plentiful jobs, as well as a greener east side. And for those of you who don't know me, I have been in the trenches with the community and the DFL party for over a decade. Uh, fresh out of college, I went to work uh, in education where I saw um, firsthand the structural issues uh, which were holding um, some students back from their full potential. I realized soon that the levers of change would have to be pushed uh, from the outside, managing relationships in the community and being at the table with policy makers. Now I have since then been cultivating relationships and building capacity in the community, whether it's spreading awareness about East Side issues or voter and civic engagement um, for local governments. I have been organizing since college and I've worked with our DFL party to help elect progressives to fight for all of us uh, and have also had the honor of working for elected officials at the state legislature as well. Uh, whether it is out door knocking, talking to neighbors, or addressing uh, constituent concerns, I have never shied away from the hard and necessary work of connecting with people on a personal one-on-one uh, -on -one basis and deepening understanding across all issues and dividers. And uh, one of my platforms, many of you know, um, is that you know, after I graduated from college, I went to the education field. And I believe that education uh, is at the top of the platform because the future belongs to our children, whose minds we either mold and fill today with knowledge or we waste, and we will have no leaders to lead us in the future. Tomorrow belongs to our children, uh, but we need to equip them with the classrooms, skills, tools, desks, and brilliant teachers they need today. We rank lowest or last in many uh, measures of racial disparities for students. Uh, this is unacceptable. In one of the most diverse metro areas in the country, you know, we must foster talent and skills early and often for our youth and give them the best opportunities to reach their full true potential. You know, how can we train, how can we retain or attract uh, talent if the great minds of today will leave us to work, live, and play elsewhere? Our top businesses demand that we have the right and qualified workforce to be entering the market. And our future demands that we have the smartest leaders to guide us into the, uh, the next century. You know, and then of course, we can't talk about education without talking about the environment too. Uh, there is no, nat no natural resource more precious than the earth as we found it uh, in its natural state. <laughs> I truly believe that if we don't leave this planet better than when we found it, we will truly have failed as an entire civilization. What brilliance of science and technology or gadgets, convenience and luxury we have is thanks to the resources of our planet. We need to maintain its richness and sustain its replenishing cycles. The beauty of our east side is thanks in no small part to the gorgeous trails, to bike, hike, walk, and the parks we, we enjoy day in and day out. From my house, I can walk uh, to the scenic route on uh, US 61, and if I dare, continue onto the mighty Mississippi River uh, below the bluffs. To improve our green policies and maintain green space is not a matter of why or why not. 
It is a matter of survival. Either our great-grandchildren will be able to live uh, beautiful, mature, healthy lives, or they will die short, polluted. It is up to me and you today. And perhaps the most boring thing to think about is our uh, dull colored roads, uh, bridges of cement, rock, asphalt, and uh, pavement. But they are the veins that run through our city's city skin, skins and they are critical to the movement of our people, ideas, and in turn, um, commercial vitality itself. Can we call ourselves a world leader and get let the fastest speed trains be in Asia or the most innovative smart cars be in Europe? Are we going to call ourselves a world leader or act like one? If there is no good, effective, and efficient transit options for our suburbs into the heart of our cities, how can we attract innovative workforce that is world class? We're not competing with Boston, we're competing with Berlin. We're not competing with Los Angeles or Denver. We're competing with Hong Kong and Toronto. To be a great city of first class, a hub of vitality and strength and commerce, we must maintain and improve all our transportation infrastructure. There is also little hope, little to hope for in any city if there are no opportunities for all of us to be our true selves and achieve our full, fullest potential. Um, there is no greater measure of our city's health than the satisfaction that comes with having a thriving workforce. That is the heartbeat of a city when jobs dry up and pipelines of talent and brains vanish, companies will pull out and neighborhoods will die off while people disinvest in the community. As your state representative, I will work hard to convene partners and be at the tables where I can best advocate for innovative solutions to keep jobs, companies, and job training opportunities in our city. At the Capitol, I had the pleasure to help impact legislation, uh, great and small, that affects our everyday life. I worked with DFL lawmakers on increasing the state's minimum wage, passing marriage equality, pushing earned sick and safe time for Minnesota workers, and passing the Women's Economic Security Act, funding our Minnesota Mono veterans with a commemorative uh, memorial in the world. And I've had had the great honor of already serving you in the state as a staffer. I seek the honor of serving you more in a greater capacity as a state lawmaker. And as our state representative, Sean Johnson, retires this year, he will leave and void. Um, his are big shoes to fill, and I will spend every moment as your state representative uh, filling those shoes and moving our neighborhood to new heights. And I will carry on the fight for equity and resources for our community as the state, at the state legislature. And so my name is Jay Jean. I will fight for all of us. Thank you so much for being here and enjoy the performances. I am the DFL endorsed candidate for House seat 64A. I will be running in Erin Murphy's seat now that she's running for governor. My area is in St. Paul and it covers the Summit Avenue, Grand Avenue area into the um, parts of Mac Groveland and into Miriam Park and also St. Anthony Parkway. Um, we are very different and the people I'm representing are different. The people same values and that uh, they issue could affect me affect and that she should fight the capital. Uh,